Hey guys welcome back to Movies Recaps, today I will show you the recap of an American drama thriller film Wicked Minds. Warning spoilers ahead. Before we begin make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications guys, thank you. Holden Price, the protagonist, opens the film by telling how he got into the predicament he was in and had to flee from an assailant. His father brought him to Chicago after he missed his high school graduation, and that was when everything began. He never went without money because his father was a business tycoon and was featured on the cover of a magazine he saw on his bed. With this money, he traveled the globe. Holden entered his room to see what surprise he had in store for him. While there, he discovered a woman in the bathroom and apologized for the oversight. Coming out of the bathroom, he runs into his father Mason, who is delighted to see him and rushes up to give him a hug. Mason then expressed regret for the missed opportunity to spend time together and presented his new wife, Lana. Mason purchases a necklace for Lana during an auction and dons it in front of everyone while they are all at the event. Before introducing Holden to Nicole, which she referred to as her friend, Lana was occasionally spotted at the auction speaking with Mason's friend. Mason confronts Lana that evening after they return from the party and inquires about their brief conversation. He informs her that he does not want to witness such behavior from her again because it would make her appear cheap. Holden asks Lana Gardening if she is okay the following day after the incident that occurred the previous evening, but she brushes him off and says she is fine. Mason agrees to go out with Holden that morning, but when he gets to work, he needs to take care of some pressing business and cancels the plan. After learning that Lana's dinner date with Mason was also cancelled, Holden decides to go out with her. Holden thought it was not a good idea for Lana to come out in Mason's freshly purchased vintage, but she encouraged him to drive and she would make Mason understand. Holden felt she didn't own the pub she picked, even after she used the spare key to unlock the entrance. Holden is perplexed that Mason is unaware of the location that Lana frequents, and Lana, in the spirit of candor, explains to him that she grew up in a neighborhood where getting wasted and having sex was commonplace. She felt liberated from the company of Mason's friends there and was almost about to kiss Holden when someone entered to drop something off and failed to notice prior to leaving. Before they began their sexual play fighting in the bar, they were next to each other and had a similar amount of fire and spark. Mason was waiting for them when they arrived home, and Holden overheard him yelling angrily at Lana for borrowing his new car. Mason makes an effort to carry on as normal the next morning over breakfast. He gave his wife a birthday card and a gift. She was pleased because she had to board a limo pretty quickly. Mason and Holden are playing basketball when Mason moves and elbows Holden in the abdomen as he tries to make a basket. Mason also reprimanded Holden for getting in his car and leaving the court. Holden met Lana there that evening when he went downstairs to the kitchen to get some ice for the discomfort he was experiencing and thought she was there to approach him. Before they romanced and had a romantic encounter in his bedroom, they promised to keep things a secret and not let Mason find out. Mason was awake when Lana entered the restroom, but they were unaware of it. Mason knocked on the door and inquired with Holden about Lana's whereabouts. He departs and returns later to confess to punching him. Mason steps out of the room, and Lana follows suit. Mason disagrees with Holden's plans to study architecture and go back to school, as he goes hunting with him. Mason assures him that he has discovered Lana was having an extramarital affair and that he will soon learn with whom. Holden makes the choice to meet Lana at a motel, where he spends the night with her so he may go the following day. She departs before him, and when he gets back to his dad's house, he discovers that he has died. When the police looked into the incident, they discovered that the man's story did not add up. Since then, the attorney for Harry Mason had found something questionable in Holden's story but remained silent. He informs Holden that it appears Lana did not actually murder Mason but was sure a third party had carried out the deed on her behalf. Holden talks with Lana, who promises to protect him because she believes he is responsible for his father's demise. After finding Lana, 
Holden goes to face her and Nicole where they first met. He decided to leave the house right away since he was tired of everything that was going on. That evening, he discovered a suicide note in a new vintage automobile, and Lana shot at him because she believed he was a robber who was likely trying to harm them again. She was shoved to the ground after he managed to avoid being struck. He snatched her gun and apologized, saying he was afraid she may kill him. He immediately went to tell Harry about it, but while doing so, he was again recorded for making a false statement, which led to his arrest. The police released him the following day after learning from a report that Lana had left the country the night before and that she was the one who had committed the crime. Nicole is now granted immunity and instructed to have her confession comments recorded. She reveals that before Lana left, they had planned everything while they were still dating. Harry tells Holden that after Nicole made the confession, he was found not guilty and that the autopsy revealed that his father had already died from poisoning before being attacked. Harry is aware that something he added to Mason's regular fruit mixture is what caused the poisoning. And later that evening, as he prepared to call the police after discovering the used sword near the fireplace, Nicole entered. Holden questioned her whether she had killed and abandoned Lana's body after merely hitting her on the head as she attempted to explain how she had altered her appearance to seem like Lana at the airport. Nicole, though, claims she dumped her body. Holden was concerned that she could still be alive and ordered a search, but all they discovered was her necklace. Holden asks Nicole to leave before returning to his residence to call the police to investigate the murder weapon he discovered. When Lana came inside and shot him, she was unaware that he had committed this act since she later learned that it was he who had fooled her and attempted to kill her after he had slain his father. Holden sought to flee from Lana into the woods until he eventually arrived at the spot where Nicole had dumped Lana. When he began to giggle, Lana got up to him and shot him again. However, before she could fire again, there was a gunshot and she fell face first into the river. Holden was saved from the cliff's edge by a police officer and was taken to the hospital. A few days later, he departs for Nicole's apartment, where they have a kiss and ride out in his father's vintage car. He now has complete authority over his father's fortune and has realized his dream, but he worries that his generation may be jaded. So that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video make sure to like share and subscribe to get updated on our latest uploads.